All right, so we're going to factor this number three using the AC method. Uh, the AC right here is going to be three times 16 or negative 16. Can someone tell me what three times negative 16 is? Uh, Rowan. Negative 48. Negative 48. So we're going to get the factors of negative 48. Maybe you can do 6 and 8, 12 and 4, uh, 48 and 1, uh, 24 and 2. Probably missing a couple, but the one that definitely strikes out to get this middle term is the 12 and 4. So uh, now I'm going to use this and write this as 3x squared, and I want it to be, uh, wait a second, uh, is it the 12 and 4, guys? It is the 12 and 4, right? So now I'm going to do, I want it to be negative, so I'm going to do negative 12x and plus 4x. That will give me the negative 8x in the middle, uh, minus 16 uh, equals 0. Uh, anyone want to tell me what to factor out of the first term? Rowan again. 3x. 3x it is. So we factor it out, and we're left with x minus 4. And then here, so other than Rowan in the audience, uh, Aaron, way up front, what are we going to factor out? Four. Uh, just a 4, because then we're left with x minus 4 again equals zero. Looks like the video is going to work. So our final answer or final factored form is x minus four times three x plus four equals zero. x minus four equals zero. Three uh, x plus four equals zero. Um, and does anyone want to tell me the answers? Uh, we have two possible answers here. Uh, Cece. Four, yep, plus four, and then uh, negative four thirds, correct? Okay, uh, that makes me very happy.